Make sure to enter into our Prop Bets contest for a chance to win $60. All you need to do is be subscribed to our channel, like this video and comment below and you're automatically entered in. One randomly selected commenter will win $60 if we hit all of our props. Good luck out there, let's win some money. Welcome to the Props Ed Show presented by LineStar, your top three NBA player prop bets for today on Underdog Fantasy and Prize Picks. Alongside Tyler Weeman, I'm Shannon Somerville. If you don't already have Underdog Fantasy or Prize Picks, make sure to download it. Links are below and use our promo codes. New users who deposit at least $100 or at least $10 can get up to $100 of your deposit match. So use those promo codes. Yesterday, 343, we earned that beer money on Thirsty Thursday. Nice work. So that means we have a winner to announce as Tyler will do the honors in his Peppa Pig sticker on his shirt. Yep, it's quite yep. lovely from... Good old uh, Susie Sheep. So, <laughs> I know nothing of this. <laughs> <laughs> Can't tell. I'm a toddler. Anyways, yesterday's winner is Kenneth Mason, 8677, with the comment, should be easy money. It sure was, Kenneth. It sure was, Kenneth. Congratulations on a winning $60. If you want to be a winner like Kenneth, too, all you have to do is make sure you like this video, you're subscribed to our channel, and comment below. Could be anything. If we hit all three of our props, one randomly selected commenter, like Kenneth will win $60. It's that easy. So just make sure to reach out to us if you are a winner of these contests so we can pay you your money. Yeah, please uh, DM me on or DM the Line Star app on our Twitter yeah. and I can get you that money. So let's get rolling with our props for today. And we're going to start off with a good old standby player for us, Utah Jazz power forward Lori Markinen, over 34 35 and a half points and rebounds at minus 115. Now, marketing has been averaging just over 30 points per game and just under 10 rebounds per game in the month of January. He's been awesome. He can hit on points alone. He's gone over this in five of the last seven games in January. Markkinen, high volume, high efficiency, and just posterizes guys which could be the case against the nets tonight who mm -hmm. are once again without kg they played last night so it could be a little banged up in this one how do you evaluate this 35 and a half line for marketing yeah i mean the nets are coming in a little banged up they don't have kd they lost four straight they just gave up 117 points to the phoenix suns that have nobody no they Parker, are so hurt no saving lee was just signed off the bench yeah. And played almost 30 minutes for them last night. So it's a banged up Nets team. Marketing's been really good all season long. So I don't mind going on the over here. All right. Next up is Clippers guard Paul George over 21 and a half points at minus 115. George's been averaging just over 23 points per game this season. However, he had been out for a little bit with a hamstring injury. Just 13 points in his first game back with the Sixers. He's an explosive scorer who put up 45 points like a month ago. So he's yeah. getting back into the swing of things. What do you see for him tonight going up against the Spurs, who have a pretty favorable matchup. They rank 30th in opponent points per game. Yeah, it's a really good matchup. I mean, he had 21 points in 15 minutes against them <laughs> earlier this season. Uh, he's off the injury report, so I expect him to play his full allotted mm -hmm. minutes. And if that's the case, this 21 and a half line is just way too low. Yeah. It's a Spurs team that just cannot play defense. Uh, George has also been over three of four versus the Spurs. The one time he wasn't is that 15 minutes, 21 point uh, showing. So I think he can absolutely do it. And I like the over here. Yeah. Next up, we're going to another guard. Magic point guard Markel Fultz over 13 and a half points at even money. Volt is averaging just over 14 points per game in January. He's gone over four of the last five. He's been picking up a little steam over the last couple of weeks, and he's great at creating some shots. He's been looking good recently. What do you forecast for him tonight going up against the Pelicans, who are still without Zion? Yep, without Zion, still without Brandon Ingram, still a little bit of a beat-up team here. Fultz has been feeling it lately. He's been shooting really good, averaging 15.6 over the last five. Our line star projection is 15.5. I think that he should be able to get the over here, so let's, let's roll with it. We got some good picks for today. Let's end the week on a high 
high note, mm. recapping our picks, we've got Lori Markinen over 35 and a half points and rebounds, Paul George over 21 and a half points, and Markel Fultz over 13 and a half points. Make sure to tail us on the Underdog Fantasy and Prize Picks app. Again, the links to that are below if you don't already have them. It's a really great way to just place your bets if you live in a state where, say, betting's not legal. Us in California, we have the availability availability to be able to place our props in these bets. It's awesome. Use our promo codes and get up to $100 of your deposit matched. Go lock them in. Good luck in all your betting today. Have a great weekend. We'll see you guys next week. Have a good one, guys. Bye.